very typical. You walk into a big room and you see what do we have to work with. So we're going to get an interview set up, kind of like a step and repeat type thing. So I think I'm going to boom the microphone overhead instead of having to deal with loving and unloving each person as they come because I think we have like 10 or 12. So I think we are good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, what's the benefit of getting into the Pickle Pad franchise now on the ground floor? The brand that is going to be a sister brand of one of the largest family entertainment companies. I so primarily do corporate work, but if you've been following the vlogs, there have been a wide array of genres and crew positions that I've been doing. So typically, I'm a one-man band for these corporate interviews, but there's been feature-length doc cam ops, there's been live broadcasts for ESPN. It's always nice to come back and see the CEO hand gesture, uh, because this stuff is pretty formulaic. It's not that hard. Uh, I didn't know who this uh, lady is in the black pants. She was kind of just hanging around. She had a, a DSLR with her. She ended up talking to the producer on the right, just chit-chatting. She wasn't even part of our production, and uh, gave her a business card. And now um, there's potential she's going to be working. So it's, it's cool just to see how quick that networking can, can happen. But back to this corporate job, there are a couple interviews that we're going to be running all on sticks, no change in location, and for me, that makes it very, very easy to do. I have two seconds, so let's break this down real quick. Typical interview setup, I have my key light. It was a little too harsh, so I decided to put up my diffuser, soften it up a bit, and then I have a rim light, which is going right over their shoulder, and the background needed a little bit of splash so i put my 60d with the reflector to give a little circle that way when you look at the frame the the interviewee's head is right in front of that little halo kind of it's like a centering device okay now the issue with these corporate rooms is these lights are extremely bright and and colored so I'm okay with having bicolor on my 200X. I'm okay with having bicolor on my um, GVM panel. 60D, I wish I had got the bicolor option because this is very, very blue on here. So I'm white balancing to the light in the room. I'm not trying to overpower it. But by softening it, I lost a lot of output on the face. So this is what it looked like in the beginning. This one, we had to remove the back drop for a corporate reason it's not important but this is what it looked like and that was just a little too contrasty for me i didn't like it so what i decided to do was take this diffuser over here and then kill the hair light and use this as a fill to wrap it around and then when i did that it came out way better so that's much softer shadow fall off better ratio for what i'm trying to achieve and uh i wish i had just a little bit more powerful light than the 200x because i kind of had to choose here between extra diffusion or um getting rid of the the hair light so it would be nicer maybe if i had like a 300x just something extra um, of course, by color, and then I thought I was going to use my iPad, it's somewhere in there, for the Hollyland, so I could give it to the producer, but she signed off on the frame right before we shot, so I figured don't give them the iPad, it's just a better, it's just something that won't distract them. If they're always checking the frame, you know, they might be nitpicking and stuff, whereas they could just see it in the beginning, say it looks good, and then uh, that's the end of that. So I have the transmitter here, but I did not use it. I know I showed this in the last video, but how great is this clamp? That is perfect. I can just keep my headphones here at all times. Sony, I switched over to you from Canon because you listen to your customers. So please update the 28 to 135 power zoom. I want something just a little wider. It could be 24, would love it if it was 22 mil and go to 135 and just a little brighter, maybe F3. That would be fantastic, and I know a lot of operators would love 
that focal range and it's about time that it gets updated and I would happily pay four grand for that. Just gotta pack up and then we're out of here. Now watch the convenience. Off. In. Done. No breakdown. More on the cart diaries. So when I'm on carpet, it looks great. I shouldn't even be complaining. I don't need another cart. But as soon as it goes to hardwood floor, it starts wiggling. And that's the majority of what I'm on. So I need a new solution. And I was looking at Addicam. It's a cheaper alternative to Innovative. I emailed them, said, hey, I can do a brand integration. They offered 10% off, which is, I wanted a free cart. So I'm going to see if they reconsider. I'm going to send them another email. But uh, I, I just need something else. I love being able to just leave my apartment. I had a bunch of invoices, a bunch of admin I needed to do. I had to set up insurance for my gear, but I can just leave and go get lunch. And I don't have to clock in, I don't have to clock out, I don't have to run back. I'm probably gonna go to the lake and edit a vlog on my phone. I just love freelancing. Update on the remote editing position that I'm trying to get someone hired for. The submissions were all over the place. I'm going through all of these and I'm finding the, the best people who followed instructions and I am going to send these over to the promoter. And in a few days, we will contact you and see uh, how we can get the pay figured out, the structure, all of this, if it's the right fit for you. And lastly, my 100th vlog is coming up. I don't know how it went that fast but I'm thinking of going somewhere, taking a trip, maybe the Caribbean, and going over all of the things that doing 100 vlogs has benefited, the clients that I've gotten, uh, the community that I've created, just all of this from a very, very small channel. If that interests you, or if you have ideas of where I should go, like I said, I'm, I'm a Caribbean type of guy, let me know, uh, but I gotta think of something because 100th vlog is coming up.